What is going on guys? Fatal Reaper today bringing you guys a video on Minecraft. Uh, today guys we're going to be talking about how to loot end cities. If you haven't already guys be sure to hit the like button and subscribe as always. So again guys we're talking about looting in cities today and if you haven't already for the end city of course make sure you defeat the ender dragon first. Find your end portal and defeat the end dragon. That is how the end city portals will open up. Now, before also that, make sure you've killed the Ender Dragon twice, and you can look up how to respawn the Ender Dragon. You want to kill him um, t at least twice. That will open up more portals, and we'll talk about that in a minute as far as getting back after you've been inside the end cities. Okay, very important. You're going to need rockets and wings. So before going in the end city, make sure you're bringing rockets and wings. You can actually find the wings inside the end city i do recommend bringing two and at least having one with unbreaking i do have unbreaking three you can get that from enchanted books that you can enchant on the enchantment table and at least bringing two to three stacks of rockets i actually have a few more stacks in this video but i do recommend is bringing many stacks of rockets as you can as you're flying through looting the end cities now to get uh of course first to the end city you have to go through the end portal after you've defeated the end dragon and i don't mean the end portal that sends you back home over here, as you can see, on the left and right outskirts of the uh, end portal, after you fought the dragon, you will have these little portals open up that are flying. You'll usually have to build to them like we have. You'll have, make sure you carry at least two to three ender portals. You'll aim it, and then, that, bam, you're in the end city. So, when you're looting the end city, of course, bring, bring many food, rockets, and everything like that. As you can see right here, this is your little structures you're going to find. These are your in, in your end cities that will have your wings and all your loot. So once you're looting these end cities, um, do be sure to keep grabbing the wings. You can actually keep reusing them in case your wings break. Do keep an eye on that. And uh, as you can see right here, this is where you will uh, first get wings at all. So typically when you first start in, there'll be one of these little structures there already pretty much close to your spawn point right after you kill the end dragon so it will be pretty easy to at least get your first set of wings and they're going to be in these ships right here on an item frame do make sure you grab them of course and i recommend having again two to three if you're going to loot in cities so i would take that first pair back you get and at least put unbreaking one to three on it whatever one you can get or obtain uh, as quick quickly as possible after that uh, there's not really many mobs in the end cities you're not really fighting uh really anything besides endermen you don't have to obviously fight them unless you hit them um the shulkers here now they are a little annoying when they blast you uh but you can manipulate uh going back down with your wings it's not that big of a deal they don't really do much damage especially if you have good armor on um do make you do want to take them out though and get their uh shulker cases or whatever you want to call them, uh, to make your shulker boxes. And we're going to be talking about that here in just a second. Again, here is another looting spot. Uh, again, keep going in all directions. Uh, keep with one direction on your positions up there. Um, we started out with negative, and of course now I'm not going positive, checking everything out. So the biggest thing right now, again, is these shulker boxes. As you can see, I've ran out of space, so I need to pile up my shulker box. Now, another good thing about the end cities, once you've uh, gotten in them, some of these structures, some of the... Uh, little palaces or castles whatever you want to call them in here will actually have an end chest in them the end chest of course can be connected with any end chest you already have so if you've made an end chest like i like i said in the beginning of the video make sure you make one at your home base what this allows you to do is put all of your shulker boxes inside your end chest and then even if you were to die and you respawn back at home it's no harm no foul all of your stuff is still in the shulker boxes, which is in the end chest. So again, guys, do make sure you bring always um, shulker boxes with you. And if you don't, at least put them inside your end chest. And we'll be talking about that. I'll be showing you guys that in just a second here. But like I said, now let's get back to the looting aspect, because obviously this is how you loot in cities. This is the proper, biggest, easiest way to do it. So as you can see right here, I have my end chest. Now do take out the shulkers. They're going to keep shooting you, obviously, if you get to one of these bases like this that has a chest with loot in it as well as your end chest or an end chest that you can, of course, link to your other one. And all you have to do to do that is literally place down the end chest. So once you've taken out your shulkers here and you can finally freely get to your chest, again, let's get back to the looting aspect of it. This is obviously why you're taking your shulker boxes, so you can put all your loot in here, and you'll find iron pickaxes, uh, all the way to diamond, 
uh, diamond pickaxes and the biggest thing you're going to find in here is things with mending and as you can see here with my inches like I just told you guys you can pull out your shulker boxes or you can just carry your shulker boxes with you beforehand I do both so I carry some shulker boxes with me and keep some in my in chest just in case now once you've done that like I said you'll place your in chest down and you can put all your loot in there and then you can put your shulker box inside the in chest therefore not losing it whatsoever even if you were to die so that being said guys this is how you loot your in cities and this is in cities are going to give you pretty much the best loot in the game uh now i've not really found any uh uh, enchanted books i'm not even sure you can but as far as finding anything with mending and once you have mending especially on your armor you can then make into netherite like i've done now with my diamond you will never lose it basically levels will give you uh will basically fix your armor and your pickaxes and stuff like that you'll basically never lose them they'll never break essentially as long as you keep getting level and you don't get hurt too bad or die or anything like that that being said guys that is how you loot the end cities that is the best way to do it if you guys have any questions, leave some comments down below if you think maybe you have better ideas how to loot the end city, and maybe there are. That being said, guys, though, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.